All right, those are all our bath bombs. Can I just say that this thing is massive? <laughs> It's gonna blow up like any second now. 50 bath bombs. Another 50 bath bombs. Wait, that's 100. Oh, snap. One giant six foot water balloon. One kiddie pool. And a tripod. And two buckets. Flip. And unspeakable. And also an absolutely beautiful day. Oh, gosh. What have I done? I have 100 bath bombs in these bags. And also a six foot water balloon in this bag. Check this out. <laughs> Look at this. Unfortunately, the weather is, uh, <laughs> um, um, I think it's honestly the the best it can get. Look at this. Look at the, it's ra it's raining. It's flipping raining. But that does not stop me from bringing you guys an awesome video today. In yesterday's video, I did a thing. All of my Instagram followers basically controlled my day. They controlled all of my actions and all of the decisions that I made. And one of my decisions is how I should make this video. And this is what you guys voted. Check this out. I said, what should I put a hundred bath bombs in? The pool or the six foot water balloon that's right there? And it was indeed a close call. 51% said the six foot water balloon. So. That's what we're doing today. A six foot water balloon with a hundred bath bombs in it. I think honestly the most challenging part of this video is going to be unboxing and taking all these bath bombs out of the packages. All right, so we got some bowls here. Bowl number one, bowl number two. Oh, let's go ahead and take out all these bath bombs. Are you flipping serious? You've got to be kidding me. Every single one of these bath bombs has plastic around them. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but look, there's there's plastic around every single bath bomb. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna I'm gonna need like scissors for this. This is terrible. Wait, I think I got it. Nope, nope, I don't got it. You're telling me I bought a hundred bath bombs and every single bath bomb has plastic around it and I have to do this a hundred times. <laughs> Bro, how do you even take this off? I can't even get one off. All right, there we go. Taking off the plastic of our first bath bomb. <sighs> 99 more to go. After 22 minutes and 11 seconds, we have 95 bath bombs. Wait. There's supposed to be five more. Oh, they're right there. These right here are the special bath bombs. So these things are huge. I mean, just look at the size comparison. I bought five extra huge ones because I actually bought every single bath bomb from the store and the big ones were the only ones that were left. So we have five huge bath bombs to add along with our 95 other bath bombs. Also, some of them broke apart. So yeah, but it's okay. They're still all in there. I, there is so many. This is 95 bath bombs right here. Oh my gosh, it's my hand. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they smell so good too. I've been thinking a little bit on how the flip I'm gonna do this. I think the best and most efficient way to do this is to put the bath bombs in the balloon first and then put the water in it. The reason I think I should put the bath bombs in first is simply because right when one of these bath bombs touch the water, they instantly start reacting and pretty much fizzing up and doing what a bath bomb does. If I fill up the water balloon with water first, that means I'm going to have to individually put all of these in here hand by hand unless i create a tube and do a giant funnel system but then i would have to run to the store and buy that i think it's best to put all the bath bombs in the giant balloon and then attach the hose to it seal it off and just do what it does we have our giant water balloon here and it's time to put 100 bath bombs in it oh there we are there they are there they are you beautiful little creatures one by one here we go Oh my gosh, this thing's getting heavy. You can see a lot of these bath bombs have broken, but I will still put all the broken pieces in. Also, when these bath bombs hit water, they also react by releasing a lot of air. So this the balloon is also going to blow up with a ton of air. So it might like legit explode, but that's what I'm hoping for. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm dropping some. Oh no, oh no. These are all the bath bombs we have left. And then we have the five giant bath bombs. Let me tell you. It is a lot of work unwrapping 100 bath bombs and putting them all into a giant six foot balloon. There is 95 bath bombs in here right now, 95. And then we also have a ton of crumbs right here. We're gonna try to get all these in here. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, I feel like this is a really bad idea. Oh uh, yeah, that's a really bad idea. All right, there we go. We got most of them. That's just literally powder. My hands. I feel like I just got done playing with a chalkboard. Now for the last five bath bombs, these are the very colorful large bath bombs. Go ahead and open all these. Oh, this one already split in half. Wait, are they supposed to split in half? Oh, they split in half. Wait, look at this. Check this out. They're made to split. Oh my gosh, do I have to unwrap them again? You have to, you, you're serious, right? Look at this. I have to unwrap it again. Look, look, 
Look at this. What the heck is this? What kind of bath bombs are these? What is this? That's a beautiful bath bomb though. I'm not even gonna lie. All right, well that's half of a giant bath bomb going in. Jeez. <laughs> And to think that I wanted to buy a thousand of these. Could you imagine unwrapping one thousand? Oh, nope, 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 nope. Ooh, ooh, this one's green. Check this out. Ah, it's so pretty. Look at it. Look at it. It's beautiful. In the hatch you go with all the others, with all your other friends. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? Oh my gosh, it smells so strong in there. All right, now for the big one. This is the big, the big boy. This is the biggest bath bomb that we have. The biggest bath bomb that I bought. Oh my gosh, there's two layers of plastic what is with these bath bomb companies and their extreme plastic wraps this is terrible there we go look at that beauty that thing is huge it's like the size of my brain was that an insult i think that was big boy is going in the hatch oh my gosh it barely fits there we go this right here is our last bath bomb here goes 99 and a half bath bombs get in there and 100 100 bath bombs and this balloon Time to fill it with water. Check this out. You guys want to see what's in here? If I can fit the camera in this thing, I don't, I don't know, but you can kind of see it in there. There's just tons of them in there. Oh my gosh, I need, I need like three hands for this. But there you go. There's the giant one right there. All right, those are all our bath bombs in the six foot balloon, 100 bath bombs. We got our little uh, baby shark pool here. We're gonna be putting the balloon right here just so I don't make a massive mess over the backyard like the last three videos. Ah! Oh, that's a really bad idea. So look at this. Flooding, this is flooding. No. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what can I say? The moment we've all been waiting for. So here's our balloon with a hundred bath bombs inside of it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this hose. Now the hose is not running yet. I'm gonna stick this hose in here and we are going to duct tape it off. All right, there we go. Okay, this thing is sealed pretty well. Let's untangle it a little bit. There we go. All right, oops, this part isn't sealed. Let's get that in there. All right, there we go. Okay, it is sealed. Pretty well. There's our balloon. Now we're gonna go turn on the water. All right, water is on, water is flowing. All right, guys, the water is on and the water is flowing right now as we speak. You can see it getting bigger. Yep, I can feel the water. Oh my gosh, this thing is like all air. I'm not even kidding. Oh my gosh. I wish we had a camera on the inside. That would be pretty cool. Unfortunately, we can't see what's going on in there. Oh my gosh, it is expanding really, really fast. Oh my gosh, it's getting really big on this end. All right, well, I guess we're just gonna sit and wait. All right, well, in the meantime, I'm gonna go for a swim. Oh, wow, that thing's getting uh, pretty big. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, check this out. Let me grab the camera. If you look right there, right about there, that is the water level. The rest is all air. Oh my gosh. Wait. I can hear them, like, bubbling. I'm scared. I I'm gonna be completely honest. I'm kind of scared. I don't know what this thing is gonna do. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to touch it. I'm going, I'm going back in the pool. I'm going back, I'm, I'm going away. I'm out of here, I'm out, nope. I feel like it's just like a ticking time bomb and at any second, it's just gonna burst and bath bomb is just gonna go everywhere. Bath bomb fuzz or stuff or whatever you wanna call it. The balloon is starting to get to a point where it's so big where you can somewhat see through it a lot better because it's stretching all the latex or the balloon material. So hopefully it gets big enough to where we can actually see through it, maybe. I don't know, I'm scared. I'm very terrified. All right, the water's still running. I'm just making sure. This thing is getting massive. <laughs> This is a terrible idea, but that's what we do here on my channel. Terrible ideas. I'm completely laying on it. I can literally smell the bath bombs from here. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. I low-key feel like this is just like a giant version of the Coke and Mentos challenge. When these bath bombs are put into water, they also release fizz and air and there's a lot of pressure on this balloon right now. And it's all trapped in here. There's duct tape keeping it from getting out. So when this thing pops, I think it's gonna like, you know, like, you know, pop. Like loud, hopefully, maybe, maybe not. What if it does right now? Oh my 
my gosh, that thing is huge. Bro, this thing is massive. This is me. This is the balloon. I'm scared. It's very, very, like, it is It is solid. Like, I think it's going to bust, like, any second. We're just going to fill it up till it busts. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Can I just say that this thing is massive? <laughs> look at this. This is ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this thing. Oh, my god that's a balloon what it's it's larger than the pool i'm honestly scared for when this thing explodes i think it's gonna overfill the pool look that's my foot that's the balloon and that's simon hello and that's kayla she's watching <laughs> what do you think of the giant uh 100 uh bath bomb balloon i'm just ready for it to pop I yeah i'm pop. just I it's so freaking huge. Like, I honestly, I, I keep the camera on that thing the entire time. Hi, man. What are you doing? What are you doing? You want to see it explode, Joe? Hey, hey, it's getting close. Is it? Look what do you mean? I know, it's <laughs> It's but it, It's gonna blow up like any second now. Simon is just trying to get the best seat in the house. <laughs> trying to watch the balloon here. Simon, what do you think? Bruh. Okay. Thank you for your awesome input. Guys, this thing is massive. Look at it, it's completely bending the pool as well. It smells like really strong lavender over here. Lavender. Come over here. It's like very, very strong lavender. It's like, like, like. It smells like a very clean grandma. That's yeah, what it smells basically. Like. And you can see the hose has been going the whole entire time. There is the balloon. Uh, here's the inside of the balloon. There's absolutely no remains of bath bomb because they have all disintegrated. Wait, actually, there's one right here. There's a little bit right there. But that's all I see. Oh my Look, gosh, just... I can smell it from all the way over here. I'm over by the back door and I can smell it from over here. <laughs> what should I do with all this water? Don't get it in the pool because it'll seriously mess it up. All right, so we have to empty all this water, but Kayla doesn't want me to get into the pool. Because it's already it's, green and we don't drains. want it to be purple there's, at this there's point. There's a drain right there, so we're going to attempt to... Oh no, oh no, no, oh, no. it's too much, it's no, too no, much. No. Oh, no, we're good, we're good. You gotta, you gotta go a little at a time. Oh, too much, too much, too much. Too much. Ah! Oh, no. No, 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 no. Strain blockage. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that that's too much, but okay. <laughs> Well, guys, I guess that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. I mean, I'm just going to empty the pool, and then I'm going to go inside and enjoy a nice cup of coffee. Let me know what you guys um, liked about this video uh, down in the comment section below. And if I should do a part two, or if I should do something like this with a six-foot balloon. If you guys have any ideas for things I could do with a six-foot balloon, let me know in the comment section below. I'll be reading a ton of the comments and hopefully getting ideas for future six-foot balloon videos from you guys. But, uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys not tomorrow, but the next day, Tuesday, in a brand new video. Did you enjoy the video? Okay, leave a like. Thank you for watching.